Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, David Madison the Guardian. So I practice telekinesis, and my channel is on the elements of self-mastery. Of course, One big aspect of self-mastery is the internal intent, energy, counter-intention, subconscious mind, visualization, meditation, all that kind of stuff. It's raining outside right now. I like to come over here because this is kind of, it's blocked off on three different walls, which means that it's kind of hard for the air to get in here. So if you can move things when, you know, you have three walls and a ceiling blocking, blocking things off then you know you're doing, you're starting to do really well. And this is just like a, one of those things you stick in the dryer. Last night I was over at the Rayback Collective and every once in a while I'm just causing uh, these different trees and bushes and stuff to move and everybody's kind of around and they're talking to each other and stuff. And then I went in the corner where there's hardly any airflow whatsoever and it took me a long time to connect to stuff. And I was a little, you know, self-conscious about it, but um, part of how I get over that is the realization that people need this understanding. You know, if you're gonna be a good salesperson, you can't, you can't be thinking to yourself, well, I'm bothering these people. You know, when I knock on the doors, I'm bothering them. You have to actually you have to believe, fully believe that what you have to offer is going to improve their life dramatically. And if you, if you can hold on to that belief, then you can overcome these self-doubts and these ideas that like you're bothering people when you, when you follow your life path, right? Because we've all experienced that. I don't care who you are. Um, when you start to follow your life path, a lot of times it's going to appear kind of weird to other people. And that's fine. Um, in fact, Bob Proctor, he said, uh, the amount of resistance that you get can tell you that you're on the right path. Because nobody would resist you if you were just doing what everybody else is doing, right? Why would they care? It's actually when 
you start to go against the flow of what everybody else is doing, the normal, the average, right? The following, the big lemmings who are leaping off of the cliff into the sea, they're all doing the same thing. So you, when you experience a great deal of resistance, that's actually a sign that you're at least not doing what everybody else is doing and it's being noticed. And if, if part of what you want to do in life is you want to help people lead better lives, you want to help humanity, um, the people who do that are not average. They don't lead, live mediocre lives. They don't fit in most of the time. I mean, there's times when they do fit in. I'm not saying, I'm not saying just, you know, be strange to be strange or be, um, or don't fit in because you think it's cool. Like, that, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when you finally begin living from your life purpose, one of the results of that is that you will begin doing things that 99% of the people around you will not do. May not even, it may not even occur to them to do these things, right? So because of that, you automatically get set apart. You automatically have people starting to look at you differently. You automatically start to become some kind of a leader, even if they don't want to follow you. They see you as somebody who's not afraid to take chances, who's not afraid to live your life unapologetically. All right, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and share. Click on that notification bell till it turns black. That way you can stay in the discussion. And so that uh, when comments come on the videos or a response to your comment, that you can be notified of that as well. Okay, thanks so much. Peace, love, and light. Be well.